Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, I am going to give you a quick course overview of Microsoft Access 2016. Now in our video series, we are going to cover all these topics. Now I will go through these topics one by one. The very first one is working with table data. Now in this topic, we are going to cover how to create a table, how to modify a table, how to define the fields, how to define the data types. Those all topics will be covered under working with table. Moving on with the next one is the querying a database. Now under this topic, we will try to create a simple query. We will going to sort the query. We are going to filter a query under this particular topic. Moving on with the third topic, it talks about designing a form. Now, as we have already created a table, we will learn how to design a form. A form is basically used to record or to view a particular record. All right. Now, under this, we will learn how to create simple forms, how to modify these forms, how to add some calculated fields to the forms. Those are the things which we will be learning under designing forms topic. Moving on with the next is generating reports. Now we have tables, we have forms. We will also learn how to generate simple plain report. All right. In this particular topic, we will learn how to start off with creating reports, how to format those reports in such a way that it will enhance the appearance of the report. All right. We will be also adding some calculated field to a report. We will learn how to add calculated field to a report under this topic. Next, we will be covering is designing a relational database, right? The database, how it is relational, how it is being related to each other. Those things will be covered under this topic. Moving on to the next one is saying that creating advanced queries. Now we have already covered querying a database. Now in this advanced query, we will learn how to create a parameter query, how to find unmatched record, how to find duplicates records. So those are the topics which we'll be covering under creating advanced queries. And last but not the least is my sharing data across application. Now it is very necessary when we have a database, we will learn in this particular topic, how to import data, how to export data. We will be also learning how to create mail merge under this topic. In this particular topic, we will be talking about database normalization. We will be talking about how to improve the table structure and rest of the videos. Now, in the next topic, we'll be talking about joining tables. In joining tables, I'm going to cover how to add a sub data sheet, how to add sub queries. I want to join tables which has no common fields. All right. So those are the topics which I'll be covering in joining tables. The third topic, it talks about advanced reporting. Now we have already learned how to create normal reports. In this particular topic, we are going to add, we are going to learn how to add a sub report, how to format this report using the control formatting group, how to add uh, some calculated fields to the report. These are the topics that we are going to cover under advanced reporting topic. The next topic talks about implementing advanced form design. All right. Now in this particular uh, topic, we are going to talk how to add sub forms, how to add navigation panes, how to work with tab pages, how to add some calculated field to a form. So those are the topics which I'm going to cover under this. The next topic is data validation. Now under data validation, we have major two topics that is field and record validation. And the second topic that I'm talking, I'll talk about data validation is form validation. All right. So these are the two topics that we are going to cover. In our next topic, we are going to talk about using macros to improve the user interface design in which we learn how to create a simple macro and we will learn how to create an event driven macro. All right. So we'll get a better understanding in our practical approach at that time. And the last topic is managing switchboard. Under this topic, we will learn how to create a simple switchboard, how to modify the contents that are there or how to modify the controls using the switchboard manager and how to set up the startup options. All right. So these are the topics that we are going to cover under managing switchboard. So guys, this is basically the course overview that we are going to cover under our advanced series.